morning and welcome to ZSU News, your weekly dose of zoo shenanigans. Today we will talk about the most notable events from the 21st of January to today. Stay tuned as we have a lot to cover, including horny hornbills, toxic waste, and a missing persons case that will send shivers down your spine. Six zoos around the world have decided to cooperate to expand the population of southern ground hornbills in ZSU facilities across the globe. Currently, Cloudfall Zoo, Five Valleys, Gottfriedsburg, Balangini, Wereldweit and Zoo Bocholtz are all participating members. Balangini Zoo has already taken the necessary measures to expand the population by retrofitting its predator backstage as a breeding enclosure for its two ground hornbills. In the Great Basin Desert, spanning across several states in the western United States, the National Park Service has come across a big amount of toxic waste. Someone in the area has dumped several toxic waste barrels, infecting the drinking water. A local resident has been arrested already and reportedly claims that the barrels were, quote, content cut from the base game, unquote. The toxic waste has left a trail of dead animals, and what little survivors remain have been sent to local zoos, including Holt Zoo in Idaho and Agrella Zoo in Oregon. <laughs> Ocean State Zoo, located in Rhode Island, has revealed its most ambitious project thus far. In what looks like a concrete circus tent, the zoo is in fact working on an immersive experience centered around the rich wildlife of Madagascar. So far, Ocean State Zoo has already confirmed the presence of its ring-tailed lemurs and the Nile crocodile donated by the controversial Danish Nibe Crocodile Zoo. We here at CSU News are very excited for future developments at the state-of-the-art Madagascar building. The global store opening on Monday was a great success, according to the organizers of the event over at CSU HQ. Despite some initial technical problems regarding the reveal of which animals were on sale, the store proved quite popular among ZSU facilities across the globe. For the first time, the global store was organized into several regional stores, allowing each zoo to have an equal opportunity at getting something interesting for their tokens. However, a few incidents occurred mostly due to miscommunication and a large amount of people chit-chatting in the store's lobby but it had no major effects on the sales of animals. CSU HQ has already confirmed it will rework the global store in the future to better accommodate the needs of its members. Lochraven Zoo, a local Maryland zoo, reported one of their staff members as missing earlier this week. The 33-year-old Elida Garcia was last seen getting into her car in the zoo's parking lot after a work shift. Her car has since been found in the woods, heavily damaged on its left side by an unknown force. A large footprint was found in the vicinity. A local paleontologist has noted similarities between the footprint and those of Acrocanthosaurus, a dinosaur from the Cretaceous. Many are wondering if this is the work of a deranged serial killer or a practical joke gone wrong. Even more disturbing is the audio file, which was recovered from a USB drive at the crime scene. A warning for younger viewers as the following recording may be disturbing. It has come. You cannot stop it. She was only an obstacle. A weak one. Beware of him. If you have any information related to Elida Garcia's disappearance, please contact the appropriate authorities. As for us, we will continue to report on this story as it unfolds. And that's all for this week's ZSU News. Tune in next week for more. And remember, wildlife conservation is the conversation.